Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, it's actually nighttime right now. It's almost 10 o'clock. So I was at Target and um, I was in the drugstore makeup section and uh, I'm not gonna lie, they have a really good selection and I was like, I totally wanna try out some of these products. And I've been seeing this float around the internet for quite some time now, which is the full face of like first impressions of using like drugstore makeup or food or all this stuff of this uh, crazy products that people try on their face. And I thought, I wanna join the club, I wanna be a part of that. So um, I actually picked up all products from e.l.f. and um, I'm really excited to try this. They had such a variety of items uh, in that section of e.l.f. and I'm so excited to try all of them. Now also, um, it's gonna be cool because I want to start trying more variety of makeup because I don't want people to think that I only like expensive makeup just because of the price and I it's high quality but uh, a lot of drugstore makeup could be just as good so I'm excited to try these out and uh, if you're wondering I haven't opened any of these yet and I have never really tried any of these products before so I'm super excited to um, try them out so yeah let's get started Okay, so since I'm a teenager and I'm going through that stage where I started to like get pimples and break out, um, I have a dermatologist and I'm not allowed to use primer or like BB cream or something like that. And I was just um, just scared to try out some of the moisturizers from e.l.f. just because I didn't know if they would break out my skin. So uh, I skipped out on that, um, but my face is um, clean and I washed it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna move right in with the concealer. So the concealer that I got is this e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in the shade Fair. And there wasn't many uh, color selections in this product. But looks like this. Kind of looks like the NARS concealer, just like a little smaller. Oh, darker than I thought. It's darker um, when I just like swatched it on my hand than in the bottle, which is weird. And to blend that in, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. blending sponge. I was like debating if I should use my own brushes and like beauty blenders, but I was like, might as well just try the e.l.f. ones just because they were there and there was like a huge selection, so why not? Okay, so this one just right off the bat is super dense and interesting shape, but excited to try that. I'm just going to wet it with my Tatcha um, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, just so it's like damp. So, let's just give this a whirl. Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit just so you can kind of see. Um, okay, just a little under the eyes. And by the way, I'm only 14 still, so I don't really wear that much makeup anyways. So, yeah. It looks lighter on camera, but in person it is actually darker. Okay, so just putting it on kind of the spots where I want to cover up kind of just the t-zone area just around there this pimple that I need to cover up okay let's see how this blends so far um this is it's okay it's just the color is so dark and it looks great on camera. It just, it really is a shade darker. Um, but I mean, we can make it work, we can make it work. But also, um, I'm not the biggest fan of this um, beauty sponge, just because, I don't know, it's not really blending in. It's kind of hard to blend in and it's like taking more force than it, I usually would like for a beauty blender um so yeah by the way um this is gonna be kind of all over the place this makeup tutorial and i don't even know what i'm gonna do um this is more just like testing it out than actually showing you guys how to do it so next i picked up this aqua infused blush and bronzer um this is the bronzed pink beige so this is a cushiony color that's infused with purified water and vitamin E. It's pretty cool. So it's like this, um, but I don't know if you guys can see, or if I just put my finger, it's like, 
it's a total cream, which is actually really cool. I'm excited about this. Wow, this is the ultimate blending brush. There's no number, but it looks like this. And then I'm just gonna pick up the bronzer shade first. And I'm just gonna apply that. Okay, that is Pinkerton. Kinda just blend that out in the areas that I want to bronze. Make sure you get up in the hairline. I actually really like this bronzer a lot. It's really cushiony and easy to work with. So I am seeing that it is a little patchy, but that could possibly just be because uh, I didn't put foundation on, but do you see like right there? Unless it's just my face not picking up product, but got really patchy there but now i'm just gonna go in with that same brush and i'm just gonna take the the blush you can't really tell on camera but the blush is super pigmented now i'm going in with this small tapered brush that looks like so and i'm taking this hd powder um it's in the shade sheer and it's just like a loose setting powder but quickly i want to just make sure i go under my eyes make sure there's no creases and uh the reason i didn't set before is because i didn't want to put powder under a cream because it uh, might look weird so the first thing you do when you open this there's a little powder puff which is pretty nice um and then you have to peel off and turn dial so i'm just gonna pour a little into here I'm just gonna take a little on my brush oh wow this brush is soft and I really actually I like this um this setting powder it's pretty nice so I'm just gonna set all the areas where I did my concealer pretty good the reason that I'm not putting a lot of makeup on is because I'm 14 and I don't feel the need that I need to wear that much makeup only because um, I don't want to have full coverage all the time and um, this is how I would do my makeup on a day-to-day -day base like not including red carpets and things like that so I just want to show you um, like my real life makeup tutorial but using these types of um, drugstore products so cool and I'm just going to quickly spritz my face before I do highlighter okay that was a lot my favorite part I'm going to take the baked highlighter in blush gems um, can we talk about how pretty this looks it's actually beautiful. I don't know if you can see on camera, but that is stunning. Do a couple swipes there. Okay, not much came off the brush. So, I'm just going to see. Oh, wow. Oh. That's really pretty. This looks really nice. Sorry I keep looking up there. There's my viewfinder and I am using it for a mirror, so. That looks, okay, I'm impressed. Look how beautiful that looks. I didn't pick up a brow product. I'm just gonna take this eyeshadow palette, kind of mix this brown and this brown. Um, and see what I can do. I'm also just taking this uh, double-sided brush one for obviously filling in in a spoolie. I'm gonna first just brush my brows up and I never like to fill my brows in too much because I think an intense brow can really change a look and make you look very mature or different and I, I don't want to look too different. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip in to both those brows and just kind of see what happens. Ah, huh. okay, so this is actually
actually a pretty good color. Hmm. And I'm not trying to change my brow shape. I'm literally just filling in the sparse areas in my eyebrows. Just so I don't have like little bald spots, you know? For people who don't have a brow product, you can always make shift with eyeshadows or a bronzer. Um, so it, it really, anything can work. Makeup can be for anything. You don't have to just stick to, oh, I'm using bronzer for my for my cheekbones and to bronze around my promoters of my face. Or I'm not using eyeshadow just for my eyes. You can use a variety of different things. You can use lipstick for blush. There's so much you can do with makeup and it gives you the freedom to kind of play around and try new things which is really fun okay so that is one eyebrow done and then i'll be right back once i finish the other brow so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this crease blending brush and i'm just gonna pick up on that really uh, light brown and i'm just gonna throw this in my crease and next what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna go in with that darker brown in the same brush and just kind of work that in the same place just slightly lower and same thing to the other side um, I'm gonna quickly go back in with that lighter brown and just make sure everything is blended nicely I also picked up this really beautiful um, shimmery eyeshadow palette uh, I think it's really beautiful uh, it comes with this brush, and I never use brushes like this, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to try it out. So, hmm, I think I'm going to go in with this beautiful color on the end. It's like a rose gold champagne color. Um, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this spray again from Tatcha, and I'm just going to kind of wet my brush a little bit, just so um, it's there's not much fallout. Okay, that is actually really pretty. So I'm just gonna go back in with that crease brush and just blend it up. Now I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I'm just gonna put this in the center of my lid and um, kind of just bring that color up a little bit so it's not as, um, as harsh. That color is stunning. With this color back in this palette, and I'm um, just going to pop this on the brow bone. It's slightly shimmery, but looks really pretty. Cool. And then I'm also going to bring this in the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to mix this shade and that shade and just pop it under the lash line. If it's slightly heavier on the top lid, you want to balance it out on the bottom so it doesn't look like your eyes are super, super small just because you have so much on the top. So it's really good to keep a balance and, and bring that on the bottom. With the lighter shade we took uh, to go over the lid. And I'm just going to pop this right um, in the beginning of my lash line on the bottom. Just so we add all these colors in together and it all blends and flows nicely i picked up this mascara and this is the volumizing plumping mascara in black so i'm just gonna try this out see how it goes the wand looks pretty good um looks like this will work let's try it out okay so this mascara is definitely giving me length which i like so, so far I like it, and I like that it's not too heavy. Ah! Get mascara under my eye every time I do my makeup. It is so annoying. Okay, wow. This is a great bottom lash mascara. I might have just found my new favorite bottom lash mascara. Okay guys, so these are the eyes basically done. Also, I am a fan of the eyeshadow. That was a big win for me. Pretty good actually, they blended really well. And um, I think these colors really complement my eye color, so. And lastly, I have a lip. This is the Beautifully Bare 
satin lipstick in the shade Touch of Nude. And um, this is just, just looks like this. Let's just give this a whirl. Oh, wow. Really beautiful. Yeah, this is really great. So lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in with my fave. And just spread the face. Um, okay, guys. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I must say, I really love e.l.f. products. And I'm not just saying this. No, I wasn't sponsored by all means by this video. I honestly, truly like everything I tried. The only thing I would say was the beauty sponge was slightly too dense for me. I wish it was a little softer and was more blendable. And uh, if I found the right shade in my concealer, I think it would have been way better. Um, and then the only other thing was that um, the bronzer was, it was really good, but it was a little blotchy. So um, yeah, but besides that, I actually loved every product. And if you guys are out there and you need a drugstore um, brand, I really recommend e.l.f. I think it's really great. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'm going to go to bed now. Bye, guys.